a top five takedown. Fifth ranked South Carolina defeating number four Ohio State. A 4-1 win sealed by junior James Story. We've been working for this for a long time. Um, after indoors, we, we haven't played a great deal. Um, so yeah, we, this is always a, a big kind of uh, a chip on our shoulder to, to beat these guys. You know, they're, they're like the, the golden team, um, as many kind of broadcasters uh, love them so much. Um, so yeah, that felt great um, to beat them 4-1 as well. It was a, it was a bit of a, a, a demolition. James, we call him Jimbo. Jimbo's the, he's the man. You know, he, uh, he's brought a solidity. He's just a solid kid all around. But you know, he's holding down that four slot like an absolute veteran. Um, I don't know how many he's clinched, but you know, if, if there's a guy I want out there throwing heat in that last little bit, it's him. The Gamecocks are fifth in the nation during regular season for the first time in program history, a level obtainable through support. Our guys engage with the fans. People love and engaging. They're, it's their courtside. They're on top of it. They can hear the coaches. They can hear the players. It's it's an intimate atmosphere, and you know we get 300, 400 people up in that crowd. This place is rocking, and our guys love it. They feed off of it. Uh, it. It creates an atmosphere that our guys play better in, and absolutely the opponents don't like it. We're growing a really good fan base here, and as long as we keep winning at home, they're going to keep keep showing up. So um, yeah, especially during spring break, we appreciate everyone who who did come. Um, I know everyone would probably rather be at the beach, but um, yeah, we're, every single one of you is, is much appreciated. The win marks more than just South Carolina's second top five takedown in the past week. Let's go, but an achievement showing a shift in the Gamecock program. Our name is pretty set amongst the other um, college teams, but it just cements it up there. And, uh, you know, for this program, the sky's the limit. Yeah, going from an unranked squad to now hopefully inside three, that's, gonna, that's a pretty big move, and we're proud of ourselves, yeah. South Carolina looking to ride that high when they take on Alabama this weekend. At the Carolina Tennis Center, Amanda Poole, Watch Fox Sports. You can read all about the Gamecocks' big win on our website at WACH.com. If you're a wrestling fan in the upstate, you might do a double take thinking you've seen Ric Flair out and about. But don't be fooled. Reporter Chris Womack from our sister station in the upstate has the story. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. There are some people okay. you know without having to see their face. <coughs> it's, it's definitely for sure a wild one. I think he enjoys what he does and is passionate about it. <coughs> Thousands know who Tommy Guerin is. They just didn't know that's his name. I'd probably say about 60 or 70 percent of my life is Rick Flair and Nature Boy, and other like 20 30 percent is Tommy. Y'all guys are the best. Guerin brings Flair into every room. A wrestler is always a wrestler. <laughs> He's a part-time wrestler. Woo! Look like your style and profile. Limousine ride. Well, woo! Jet flying. Woo! <laughs> but best known for being a Ric Flair impersonator. He had to um, kind of had the same, you know, the same thing, hit the same, the same vibration, the same energy that he had, you know. The origin story was meeting the real nature boy as a child. And then as Garen got older, his hair got longer. One thing or another, you know. I got the robes. I said, wow, this is neat. How's this going to look on me? <laughs> I don't know, Chris, before I knew it. Before I knew it. Holy cow. Opinions vary on his act. Oh, yeah, I get the haters. Yeah, it's just, uh, that just, that just even pushes me more, you know. You know, the people, don't, you know, the guys that don't like me, the reason I'm doing this, or they're, I don't know if it's jealousy or... Or watch, you know. But the persona is based in love, loving the reactions on people's faces, and the unending love Ooh, yeah. for one of the most just... famous wrestlers Look ever. Shadow. Look at my shadow. Oh yeah, I see shadow, <laughs> I don't know if he even knows about me or not. To be honest with you, he's got to know about me by now. I mean, he may not. But uh, I would like for him to know. You know, I met him a long time ago. But I would like for him to know that. I'm doing this in his behalf because, you know, 